Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 123. Contra Returns has finally got a release date on July 26th. The mobile game will be released in North America, Latin America and Europe with pre-registration already open for both iOS and Android users. This is a wide release for Contra Returns as it was originally released in China in 2017 and then in Taiwan in 2018. In the same year the English version of the game was released in some Southeast Asian countries. Samsung Galaxy F22 launch date in India is July 6th at 12 pm. Flipkart has revealed key Galaxy F22 specifications. The phone features a 90 Hz SMLED display, 48 megapixel quad cameras and a 6000 mAh battery. Oppo Reno6 and Reno6 Pro will launch in India on July 14th. The phones will be available via Flipkart. Oppo Reno6 and Reno6 Pro 5G will come with unique features like bokeh flare, portrait video, artificial intelligence highlight video and much more. A 41 year old Mohammad got a bill for 1800 US dollars that is approximately 133000 Indian rupees after his kid played Dragon Rise of Berg for an hour. Mohammad received a refund of 287 US dollars that is approximately 21000 Indian rupees after contacting Apple. In the end Mohammad had to sell his car to cover the remaining amount. An intrepid YouTube content creator literally tried to send Doji coin to the moon. While the endeavor failed, the Doji coin in question managed to escape Earth's atmosphere. Doji coin prices continue to remain on the decline due to the unstable market conditions. Realme beard trimmers, hair dryer buds to Neo have been launched in India. The Realme beard trimmers feature skin-friendly ABS materials, a USB Type-C port and a 800 mAh battery. The buds to Neo features a 11.2 mm dynamic driver, tangle-free wire and a multifunctional button. Realme Dio the Chinese device maker Techlife brand have just dropped the first of its tech ecosystem products in India the Dio Go Pods the true wireless earbuds and Dio wireless stink band earphone join the India's booming affordable audio wearable segments the Dio Go Pods the earbuds are priced around 1599 Indian rupees while the Dio wireless earphones will set you back around 1499 Indian rupees however the company is offering the two products at an introductory discount of rupees 200 Techno Spark Go 2021 have been officially announced in India. The key Techno Spark Go 2021 specifications include a 6.5 inch HD plus display, a MediaTek Helio A20 processor and a 13 megapixel dual rear cameras and a 5000 mAh battery and a 2 GB of RAM. Techno Spark Go 2021 price in India is set at rupees 6999 initially after which it will be available for rupees 7299 Indian rupees. Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra registration now open in India. The phone will be available in very limited quantity and there are two ways for the interested customers to get hold of the Mi 11 Ultra. Interested customers can purchase the Mi 11 Ultra gift card worth rupees 1999. Last month Xiaomi launched the Redmi Note 8 2021 edition to celebrate the 25 million sales milestone. To recall the Xiaomi Mi 6 was the company's flagship for 2017. It was the last Xiaomi flagship to offer a traditional 16:9 to aspect ratio display. We can expect the company to go with a modern bezel-less punch hole display in the 2021 edition of the smartphone. Xiaomi has hiked the prices of Mi TV and Redmi TV models in India. The price hikes ranges from rupees 500 to rupees 2000. The brand seems to have increased the prices due to shortage of components and supply chain constraints. A new Google Health application is in the works. This application will help users to integrate their medical records and share them with the families or friends. It is not clear whether the application will be green lighted but is being tested for now. Google has finally gone ahead and announced a drastic change for all the developers who wanted to list their application on the Google Play Store and this new change could have a massive impact on the Android app ecosystem as a whole at the moment the standard format of app publishing on the Play Store is through APK but starting August later this year Google will require that the new Play apps are published using the Android app bundle The Huawei Band 6 is a fitness tracker that was announced earlier this year. The smartwatch made its debut in Malaysia in early April and is now set to arrive in India soon according to the reports. Huawei will be launching the Nova 8i smartphone on July 7th in Malaysia. The landing page of the phone is now live on Huawei's Malaysia website through which its design and key features have been confirmed. It comes with a 6.67 inch IPS LCD full HD plus panel which houses a 16 megapixel primary camera and an unknown secondary sensor. If we talk about the processor it comes with a Snapdragon 662 power along with that it comes with a 4300 mAh battery that supports around 66 watt super fast charging. 
technology. A new report has claimed that Oppo might just been working on a new finance based product. The recent trademark filing has revealed the name Oppo Card which might be similar to the Apple Card that was launched back in 2019. iPhone 12 series sale has crossed around 100 million mark in 7 months. The iPhone 12 series has crossed over 100 million mark faster than the iPhone 11 series. iPhone 6 series was one of the most successful Apple iPhone series. Vivo S10 has appeared on Geekbench with key specifications including chipset, RAM and software. The phone bears the model number V2121A. Vivo S10 specifications include the MediaTek Dimensity 1000, a 108 megapixel camera and runs on Android 11 OS. Microsoft has released the first Windows 11 Insider preview for the Dev channel which is named as Build 22000.51. The early preview version allows users to test drive the features that are coming to the official version. The Windows 11 ARM version has also surfaced online and some developers have managed to load this newer Windows operating system on Lumia 950 XL smartphone. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.